Hey guys, what's up? Spass Gamer here. Today I got a little bit of a commentary free for all gameplay for you. And this one's on Vacant, and it's a free for all. As you can see, I start off with a quick headshot kill there on John. And I try to work behind, check my back, and I get another kill. Uh, I'm going to get the UIV here in a sec with this kill. Oh, wait. Never mind. John killed me again. Well, uh, the important thing on Vacant is I've noticed in what a lot of free-for-all games is to always check your back and sides. Know your surroundings. As you see, I get killed from behind there. And 90% of your deaths will come from behind in free-for-all because you can't shoot behind you. So you got to keep frequently checking these priority spots and these frequent kills points. Uh, some of them which are the storage containers here. That little uh, outside the building area there and the alleyway, I'll show it to you when I look at it. Those are all frequent points of interest that you should constantly check as well as your back. Tigers gets another snipe on me, so uh, I'm not doing real well at this point in the game. I do, however, turn it around pretty quickly here in a minute. Uh, I missed that shot, but I come around here and I get a sniper, I believe, pointing at the back. And I'll wait. I get this guy. There's the sniper right there, but I don't get him. Uh, frequent spots are outside right here, though, and that little alleyway right in the side there. That alleyway is a frequent point of interest as snipers will camp in that alleyway thinking no one's going to check there, and it's actually a frequent point of kill. Um, so I would never recommend an alleyway like that. I would always recommend using something like these containers simply because they offer... Uh, Basically, not really, I mean, they're not mobile, but I call it mobile cover because there are several points of cover as well as you can hide in them in points of airstrikes, unlike that back alleyway where once you're seen, you're a sitting duck. So, um, you never want to be a sitting duck in free-for-all either because you can just get killed so easily in this game. Now, I get my UIV there, but I get killed from behind, not watching my back like I should have been. I call my UAV out, and once you get UAV, you always need to watch that radar. That radar is your best friend once you get UAV out. Uh, I don't get this guy here. He runs away into the back hallway there, and I kind of follow him, uh, but I don't think I see him here. Oh, wait, I do. Yep, I killed Cage right there and with a pretty nice quick uh, zoom in thing. I failed the knife portion at that guy. That was just a complete fail on my part. But uh, at this point, I don't really feel like I'm doing great, but I don't feel like I'm doing bad. Uh, but my fortunes will change here in the game real quick. As you can see, I get two quick kills with my M16 there. And I get the sniper picking off other guys over here. And like I said, use these uh, storage containers. Um... There's a grenade. There's another grenade. I had no, nothing I could do there. Just had two grenades on two different sides. That's unfortunate, but it happens in free-for-all. Uh, so you got to always check these corridors as well. With an M16, this map isn't the uh, greatest for the indoor portion because the other map, uh, weapons fire so much quicker and are a lot better at indoor uh, combat. I fail again at knifing. For some reason, uh, Call of Duty 4's knifing on me really isn't uh, really isn't the best to me. I'm, I can't really get the feel of it. I prefer uh, the uh, Modern Warfare 2 knife system, but however, Modern Warfare 2 knife system was too easy. Um, the helicopter comes out here, and once you get a helicopter in free-for-all, it's very difficult not to rack up kills. I mean, because no one really shoots at the helicopter because it's free-for-all. They're all killing each other. So, um, you, you really want to get that helicopter. Again, I go back to this same spot for the same reason before as it provides a quick spot to quick scope people and, uh, just basically see all your surroundings. I try to get the helicopter. I'm not going to do it. Um, so, uh, get this guy here. I'm going to just put this in fast-forward now because I really don't think you want to see, uh, 15 more minutes uh, in real time. I get a nice kill there. Get get my airstrike out. This is the first one of the game, I believe. And those containers are great for hiding in, whether you have an airstrike or UAV or something you want to call out. Uh, unfortunately, the game wouldn't let me use my airstrike there simply because it only allows one airstrike at a time. However, I don't think that's such a huge deal. It keeps it fair. Call my airstrike out there. 
And I get my kills I need for the chopper. Uh, there you go. There's the, uh, here's when I really start doing it big now. I got my chopper out now, and I'm just picking off guys with those frequent points of uh, interest. And the reason why is it's easy. Uh, I actually run out of ammo in my primary and have to switch to my secondary. However, I get killed by Cage there, and that's unfortunate. I get killed by Goldie there from some crap. I get another kill. Get another kill. Oh, yeah, get another kill. Um... My chopper's just picking off the other team at will, basically. No one's really trying to destroy it. Uh, Johnny likes to pull out the noob tube about halfway through this match, like i just seen, and he just starts noob tubing everybody he sees. Uh, so he really doesn't have too much skill, in my opinion, pulling out the noob tube like that. Again, with the knife fail on my part, I don't know, I just have an issue with the knifing, I guess. Uh, I'm not very uh, I'm knife illiterate, I would say. But, uh, I keep getting kills here. I try to take down the chopper. Obviously, an M16 is too weak to take one down. And I get killed by Cage again. And now I'm just trying to pick off guys at this point of interest again. Try to re uh, get my kill streaks back up. And you'll see me do that a lot. Where, uh, where if I have no chopper or anything big out, I'll try to get to that point. Simply because it's a pretty easy spot to pick off guys from. Because you can see all those frequent points of interest and the spawns, basically. Because uh, guys would like to spawn around that spot and hide right immediately in that alleyway. Uh, and I was actually making a couple people mad by doing what I was doing. Because they kept feeling like they were dying as soon as they spawned. But uh, that's the breaks you get in this game. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing my best at this point in the game. But... Um, it's it's not too bad. Uh, this game, I think I finished with 98 kills, something around there. So I definitely finished with a good amount of uh, a kills here. I was going for the 100 bomb, but uh, the noob tubes got me in the end by John, as well as an airstrike, and it prevented me from getting the 100 kills. John again with the noob tube here. Uh, Paperclip. When Paperclip, uh, he was, I believe, was the second leading scorer. Um, he joined about a third of the way in, and he got in a chopper pretty quickly and started picking off guys. However, he couldn't stop me and my uh, M16 from from basically uh, obliterating the other team. I mean, as you can see, I go through periods where I just destroy the other team. Once again, I shoot at the chopper. I wait in here, and I wait for the chopper to turn around and go away, uh, just thus saving my life and giving me some more time. I get an airstrike here, get killed by Jesse, call my airstrike. Um, and, I mean, there's really not much to say. I mean, uh, I basically just obliterate, kill that guy in that alleyway there, which I don't understand why people continue to use it. It's such an easy spot to get kills in. Because you're a sitting duck once you're in there. Own that guy's face with my M16. With a quick snap back. Uh, again, checking that point. Making sure no one's hiding in there. Call my airstrike in. I don't really get too many kills off it though. In fact, I get zero kills. Uh, get that guy from behind. Like I said, checking your back is imperative. The guy tries to get me from behind. And I get killed by Cage. He actually kills his bolt there. I spawn and I try taking out. I take out both these guys somehow. And then I turn around and immediately take out him. He was pretty easy to take out, running right at me. Uh, you never want to run directly at the person or sprint directly at them if you have them like that. Finally, get a decent knife out. Uh, spray my M16 a bit. Turn around, snap back, get another kill. And, like I said, once again, I am poning face. That guy was a retard and decided to sprint right out of the uh, cover he was in. And for an easy kill. We, uh, we're coming down to the home stretch here with the six minute mark. I'm going to hit this fast forward button again just to uh, kind of speed it up here. Once again, I get two more kills. Uh, and then drop. Uh, 
Now, in free-for-all, dying really isn't uh, a failure on your part. As long as you get uh, two to three kills per death or, uh, you know, maintain first place, you've done your job. As free-for-all is a deathmatch type mode, uh, unlike headquarters or some of the other ones. I get my Chopper Veteran Award for calling in, you know, a bunch of choppers throughout my career in Call of Duty 4. I try to get the kill on that guy in the alleyway, but I get killed by, uh, I believe, an airstrike. Get two more quick kills here. Guy's trying to get a third kill. Get another UIV. Fail at knifing again. For some reason, uh, I just can't knife today. Get a kill at that alleyway, which is basically the simplest thing to do ever. Knife this guy from behind. And once again, that guy was typing. I really shouldn't have shot him, but, uh, oh well, that's what he gets. Type faster. Um. I'm just kind of checking the uh, the middle points in the uh, storage containers now, making sure no one's in between them, because uh, this is actually the primary spot I work, as the map is, if you've seen, is the storage containers. Uh, I get another kill at the frequent kill spot. Get a kill inside the container. A guy spawned inside the container, as they do sometimes. Another guy spawns in there and gets a kill on me, and that's unfortunate. Now I have to work my way back to the containers, but... All is not lost because these guys really don't know how to sp defend a spot. In free-for-all, your goal is not to run out like an idiot out of your cover. Your goal is to kind of not really camp in one direct spot, but you kind of want to break the map off into sections. And you kind of want to work that section killing anyone that's in your territory. At least that's how I look at it. Uh, because sprinting out in the open is just makes it too simple to die. And camping just... You'll never get any kills because once people find out where you're camping or uh, not enough people run in that spot, you're, you're not going to win. So like I said, you want to kind of break off the map and kind of work section by section clearing them out. Uh, systematically, methodically clearing them out. Not, you know, sitting there in one spot. Now, it's okay to kind of camp the storage containers like I did because... Like I said, I continually peeked, and they had a chance to kill me. They just could not. Um, so uh, I keep trying to get kills here. Now I'm down in the final minute now, and I'm trying to go for that hundred bomb. I'm really, I'm just, I'm trying for uh, that hundred bomb. I think I'm at like 92 or 93 kills now. I can't tell because there's no scoreboard in the demos. But uh, I switched to the M4, and I just get killed by Tigers. Then this guy's airstrike really sent me back, because um, once I knew that, I knew I basically had no chance at the uh, at the 100 bomb. I lost it, get killed by this guy, and I notice I'm not going to get it. However, I do throw a grenade and get another kill. And I come around this corner just aimlessly firing, hoping that I will get that final kill I need. For the uh, for the game, but uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.